I'm going to show you how to make Creative Kiwi's large sloth applique and for that I'm going to be using my 5x7 hoop, two layers of wash away stabiliser, a variety of threads, my squizzers, fabric some batting cut to size and I've also got some Solvi topper and I'm going to be putting that over the top of my uh, fur fabric so that my stitching doesn't sink and get lost in amongst the pile. Start off by hooping your two layers of wash away stabiliser. And I like to pin around the top edge of my hoop to stop my stabiliser from being pulled down between the two hoop pieces. So take your pin, rest it on, the top, uh, on top of your hoop, push it through, bring it back round and that now firmly anchors your stabiliser. Load file A into your machine and it is important to stitch these in the right order otherwise it's not going to work. And then you're going to stitch round number one and that's going to give you your batting placement outline. Place your batting over the outline and then tape it in place with a little bit of uh, masking tape or painter's tape. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number two to secure it. Place your body fabric over the batting and then tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number three to secure it. Place the fabric for this area of the belly over the outline and then tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number four to secure it. Load whatever colour you want for the heart that's going to go here uh, into your machine and then stitch round number five. If you don't want to stitch the heart you can skip this colour. Trim away the excess fabric from around the belly. You're now going to stitch round number six and that's going to zigzag this raw edge. You're now going to place your backing fabric, so turn your hoop over, place your fabric over the outline and tape it in place. Pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number seven. Trim up the excess fabric from both the front and back of your hoop, so turn your hoop over. I'm now going to place my Solvi over the top and that's going to prevent the stitching around here from sinking into the pile. Pop your hoop back into your machine and you're now going to stitch round number eight and that's going to zigzag around this edge. Load whichever colour you want for the satin stitch each side of the belly here and put a matching bobbin in, in as well if you're not going to be sewing it onto something 
and then you're going to stitch round number nine. Load your thread and even matching bobbin if you're not sewing this onto something into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number 10 and that's going to do the satin stitch around the legs and around the outside border of your sloth. I'm now going to remove the solvy. And free the sloth from the hoop. You're now going to cut along here as close to the stitch line as possible because that's going to be where we join to the next hooping. And that's our first segment completed. You can now put this aside. Load file B into your machine. Hoop and pin your wash away stabilizer as you did for the first hooping. Load your hoop into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number one for your batting placement outline. Place your batting over the outline and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number two and that's going to secure your batting. Trim away the excess batting from around the stitch line. Place your fabric for the head over the batting and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number three to secure it. Place your fabric for the face of the sloth over the outline and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number four to secure it. I forgot to put my solvy over the top of my fabric before I stitched it down so I'm going to do it now so I'm going to place my solvy over the face and tape it down. I've also gone back and stitched round number four again just to stitch it down. We're now going to stitch round number five which is the patches round the eyes. Change your thread to the colour that you want for the eyes, nose and mouth and then you're going to stitch round number six. I'm just going to pull away the um, uh, solvy. I'm just going to pull away the um, uh, solvy. 
trim up the excess fabric from around the face load whichever colour you want for the satin stitch around the face into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number seven turn your hoop over and place your backing fabric over the outline and then tape it in place pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number eight to secure it you're now going to trim away the excess fabric from both front and back of your hoop so turn your hoop over load your matching bobbin and thread for the outside satin stitch into your machine you're then going to stitch round number nine now it's going to zigzag uh, this raw edge and it's going to stop where you need to join the body to the head place this stitch line of the body on top of this stitch line here between where the zigzagging uh, ends and then you're going to pin it in place keep your pins right out of the way of the stitch line I'm just going to put a little bit of tape here and here to hold these corners down pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number 10 and that's going to zigzag along this join check your join to make sure that it's all okay if it's not quite aligned properly use a, a stitch on picker and remove the zigzag stitch and it comes out really easily and then reposition it and stitch round number 10 again if your join is fine then you can now stitch round number 11 so that's our sloth all stitched I'm going to remove the uh, solvey from the face I've removed the tape and pins as well and we can now free the sloth from the hoop so turn your hoop over and trim around the edge being careful not to cut the stitching of course we're now going to get rid of all the excess uh, stabiliser so I've got some warm water and a cotton bud dip it in and just wipe it round the edge I'm just going to do the excess along this line on the back as well And that's our sloth finished. I hope you enjoyed this stitch along. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos as soon as they're published. Do pop along to Creative Kiwi's Facebook group. There's lots of ideas, inspiration and help there for everybody. And thank you very much for joining me.